let's see this question. This question basically solve quadratic equations. So given the first equation, right, x minus two times x plus five equals to eight. Out of this equation, we can solve for x. And then we plug in x into the second equation. Okay, let's solve the first one. So first, let's just foil this. So we get an x squared plus 3x, and plus 3x from negative 2 plus 5, which is positive 3, and then minus 10, and minus 2 times 5, minus 1. Then we bring 8 to the other side, becomes negative. So we have x squared plus 3x minus 18 equals to 0. Now we need to think two factors of negative 18 adds up to be positive 3. Right? Two factors of negative 18 add up to be positive 3. So one is negative, one is positive. That has to be 6 and 3. Right, because negative three plus six that's positive three. Negative three times six that's negative eighteen. So by zero property, this gives us each factor can be zero because the product is zero. So the first factor is zero, we get x equals to three as a solution. The second factor is zero, we get negative six as a solution. So let's call this first solution, let's call this second solution. Well, for first solution, x equals 3, we have 3 minus 4 to answer the question, and 3 plus 6. 3 minus 4, negative 1. 3 plus 6, 9. So we get a negative 9. Right, one solution. 2, if x equals negative 6. So the negative 6 minus 4 times minus 6 plus 6. Well, that's a zero. And this fact is zero. So we get two solutions. So either zero or negative nine. So usually quadratic equations can quadratic equation can have at the most two solutions.